What's up, Design Family, and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back on the channel. On today's episode, we have a full office tour of our design studio in Baby Lebanon. In short, we are a fashion design agency. We work with brands from all over the world to design, develop, and produce sportswear. We love what we do, and we'd love to show you where we live. So, without further ado, Jihan, roll the intro. What's up, Design Family? and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports, fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around. You're in for a good one. Guys, welcome to the updated Fit Design HQ. Come on in into the first primary space, which is the lobby space. A little fun fact: the first ever episode of Fit Design TV that we ever posted was an office tour of this exact space before the expansion. Pretty much everything you see on my right is post 2021, and everything before is pre 2021. So, we'll start off with the space that you know and love, which is our original space. Coming in, we created a beautiful lobby, and of course we don't have um, a formal secretary, but the idea was just to create a transition space that would take us from the outside to the inside, um, a space for us to accept packages, a space for interviewees to wait, so if we have anyone that's coming to interview for a role or position at Fit Design, this was the space for it. We're currently missing two chairs in the corner. We will add them sometime in the future. We had them in the original plans, and we'll add images of the original renders of the space, I think it would make a beautiful addition, but I just haven't gotten around to it, unfortunately. But bringing you in, you see the central hallway that takes us pretty much into all of the core key spaces. On my left side, I have our primary workspace. It seats eight of our employees, and of course, at some point, it just became too tight, and we had to add additional space, hence the expansion. Also, if you haven't checked out the expansion plan vlog miniseries that we did, we posted them almost a year ago. I highly recommend you check it out. We pretty much chronicled from start to finish everything that we did to get the new space set up. And I think when you watch that and you watch this episode, you'll be able to piece the pieces together. On the right side, we had the original bathroom. And of course, one of the godsends of the new space is that we have two additional bathrooms to add. And coming right down the hallway, this hallway essentially distributes you into five of the key spaces. We have our original conference room on the right and this conference room again holds a special place into my heart for a couple of reasons. The first reason is it has the original Fit Design logo up on the wall, essentially the first space that we added our logo. And I think it was a little bit of a surreal experience seeing that go up for the first time. Just seeing a physical representation of something you've been working on for the last four or five years, it just sort of puts things into perspective. It's a bit too small right now and we can't hold any of our meetings, but it is a nice space to have a private conversation every once in a while. It doesn't get a lot of natural light, which I think is one of the weaknesses of the space. But in our new conference room, we definitely address that issue as you guys will come to see. On the right side, we have our mini office. It's a transition office or a office for hire. Uh, pretty much anytime someone needs a private space, they get a call or any of my friends need to have a space of their own to hold a meeting or an interview. This is where they hold it. It's a nice space to have and it's always a bonus. On the left side, we have an open plan office. Like I mentioned, it seats eight of our core employees and it's a beautiful space. It's open, has a lot of natural light. The entire flank is flanked by open windows from floor to ceiling. We put blinders on, so pretty much 3% blinders that allow some light to go through. So it retains that sort of golden glow aesthetic. Right now it's April and I think the weather outside is starting to become extremely warm. So these types of blinders are a godsend. It really does do help us out in terms of maintaining the temperature regulation in the space. And when you get too much light coming from the outside, it makes working on the screens almost unbearable. Coming on in, we have our Spectre vertical logo up on the wall. A nice reminder of a project that we started and finished and we really enjoyed that entire process. I'll tell you more about Spectre in a little bit. On the right side, I have our partner's office. He likes to keep it a little bit minimalistic and uh, that's something I said in the original uh, interview that we did. But my office on the other hand is a little bit more done up. I've done a separate 
20 minute episode on pretty much all the nooks and crannies of my office, pretty much why I have certain things set up. And I think a lot of designers can get a lot of benefit out of seeing how I've set up my space. And maybe you guys can give me tips and tricks on how I can set up the feng shui of my space even better. But now I'll take you guys in to the full expansion. So Shihan, follow me. Voila, now we have our new space. A couple of things before we get into the new space. This was like any business decisions, a massive risk, one that required a lot of resources, but I believe in our team, I believe in what we do, I believe in the future of fit design, and I think it's a, a risk that will most or unlike, or it will undoubtedly pay off. I have full belief in what we're doing here, and I can't wait for you guys to see what the future holds for us and ultimately what the future will hold for you guys. This space was a challenge because we wanted to retain the original aesthetic and look of the original office and at the same time add a couple of extra benefits. So immediately off the top of my head, I knew that we needed another kitchen, we needed some more bathrooms, we needed more core workspaces that were fully efficient and we needed a proper lobby. So it just made sense to open up the wall and to kind of create another mini wall on this side. So this wall right here, we erected from scratch and the idea was to frame this lobby space. We will have in the very near future, two beautiful seats here that again, people can wait on, people can just have a nice relaxed conversation on. And the entire space is framed with this beautiful wood. This is the original Crayotech wall on the side. If you check out the original office tour that we did, you'll see it on my right side. As awkward as that video was, it does hold a special place in my heart. I think I do look at it every now and then and just allows you to see the power of repetition and consistency, both from my side and from Jihan's side. I think we both come a long way and we're extremely glad to be creating content for you guys three years down the line and almost 27,000 subscribers later. So thank you guys so much for that. One of the challenges for this was uh, trying to match this wood which, which was from a factory in Saudi Arabia to this wood, which was from a local factory here in Lebanon. And you know, nothing is perfect, but we did a pretty damn good job to make sure that everything felt homogenous. The slabs that you see are porcelain slabs they are from Spain. And originally we had bought the original ones back in 2018. And the only supplier that sells these slabs sort of knew that we needed them. And let's just say they charged the price they wanted, but at the end of the day, an investment is an investment and I know that we can remake that money again easily. But what we can't do is we can't have a beautiful office by cutting corners. So we did cut zero corners in this office and we made sure that we did it right. Coming on in, we're gonna have a little bit of an exposure change. So bear with me on that. Okay, here we have our break space. One of the core issues in the original space was it was pretty tight knit. There is really no room for people to just sit down, relax, have a casual conversation outside of working hours or outside of the working time. And this space was, you know, our solution to that. We had this beautiful built in couch slash storage solution. We have our server on this side of the, on this side of the cabinet. And the idea here was just to create this beautiful built in couch that continued the design aesthetic, the sharp, sleek design aesthetic seamlessly. And hopefully we achieve that. And I know that our team gets a lot of use out of it. We have these three key boxes and they can double as bookshelves or storage spaces. And they also double as seats. And you know, originally that was the idea and I'm pretty glad with how they turned out. On my right, we have sort of our memory wall. And I've done a video recently on the channel which is called The Importance of Small Wins. And throughout that video, I'm consistently referencing this wall. This wall here is a reminder of where we've come from and the power of repetition, the power of consistency, the power of belief. It's a lesson that for me to this day has given me the motivation, has given me the belief in myself and my team to keep pressing forward. That if we just get up every day and we create and we push and we do the next thing and we focus on just getting the job done, that eventually things will work out in favor. Despite the ups and the downs, things will eventually come around. And this has given me that belief because Everything you see here today is from that decision to wake up every day to create one piece of content, 
to wake up the next day and create another piece of content, regardless of where I was at in the process. And this philosophy, this belief is still embedded in every single thing that we do at this office today. Bring you guys into one of the most exciting new spaces in this office is our photo shoot studio. You guys know we love creating content and fit design. I would believe that we're more of a media company than we are an agency. We love what we do and we love sharing it with the world. And hopefully you guys love when it's shared with you guys. So this was a space dedicated to that love for creating. A space dedicated to video creation, audio creation, photo creation. On the left side we have our infinity wall and essentially we don't deploy it that much but we can shoot product shots, we can shoot close-ups, we can do a lot of macro photography very cleanly with our three-point light setup. We have these lights that are extremely easy to move around depending on our needs. Over here we have the Caisse de la Resistance and it's sort of everything I ever wanted in the original space. I used to shoot these videos in my office. If you guys look at some of the older Fit Design TV episodes, the very, very initial ones were pretty much just me seated on my chair with the Fit Design logo in the background with my Blue Yeti mic in front. It was a little bit of an awkward angle, but did get the job done. And I'm so thankful that I didn't really get into my head early on to the process. I just wanted to create. I didn't really care, oh, I don't have the perfect studio setup, I don't have the perfect mic, or I don't have the perfect lighting. I just wanted to share something with the world. I had, you know, an amazing team behind me, Jihan behind me to support and to kind of push everything we did, and I'm so thankful for that. So thankful that we didn't get into our own heads and we just created, and here we are today, and we still have such a long way to go, but this is where I set up my most current MacBook. I'll set up the MacBook up, I have my script on there. Um, I try not to read from the script too much. I like to keep it a bit more casual and I like to keep the, let's just say, the, the delivery very, very natural. But I have my Blue Yeti mic set up on a fully adjustable Blue Yeti stand. Very, very useful. One of the best stands that I've seen. I've had a couple stands in the past, but really, don't cut corners, don't cheapen out on the stand. Um, I know that this one was almost $199 versus the actual mic, which is $249. So, it's a pretty significant part of the price, but highly, highly worth it. On the back, we have our desk, or we have our Spectre display case. This serves two key purposes. Number one, honestly, it makes a pretty badass backdrop for our videos. Initially, we want to have two mannequins on either side, and we'll put an image of some of the renders of the space with those mannequins. It was a bit weird. We ended up not pulling the trigger on those mannequins. I think it would have been a bit weird to have me in the middle and then to have two random dudes standing behind me, but uh, maybe we'll keep that for another time. Also on the back, we have some product displays of our Spectre Origin collection. Again, they look pretty cool on the back, but at the same time, whenever we have visitors or whenever we have anyone in the office, which is quite rare, but when they are here, they really get to touch and feel the work that we do. As opposed to us going into the back room, grabbing a couple samples, they can see the best of what Fit Design have to, have to offer and Spectre was and is the best of what we have to offer. It's a study of when we go all out and we have no holds bar on the products that we design and that we produce. Guys, I'll bring you in now to the core working spaces of the office expansion. And again, the DNA of this office retains a lot of the original space that we were in up until 2021. And we ended up creating another hallway that sort of mimics the original hallway from the original space that delivers you into the different working spaces. So here we have this beautiful walnut wood, essentially framing the wall. If you notice, it continues the break space seamlessly into the actual working spaces. We have these rubber rocks at the bottom, again, just to create a little bit more of a homely or a warm aesthetic. We have these books up, which honestly are rarely there, but they're all from Fashionary, and I love having access to a lot of this knowledge, the tips, or immediately. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a lot of use out of this. A lot of the episodes that you see on Fit Design TV are from books that we've read, and knowledge is power, especially when it comes to a technical domain like fashion. Believe me, invest in yourself and learn. Learn to love your craft. Learn to learn everything there is to know about your craft, and watch yourself excel day in, day out bring you guys in. We have some of our Spectre Origin collection up on the wall. Again, a little bit of my memory of everything that we've done. And I think just having the pieces, the physical pieces of the garments that we created framed up on the wall shows 
how we think of art designs. We think of the work that we do as art and it should be framed and it should be treated accordingly. Up above, we have these recessed LED lights, all in an attempt to retain this minimalistic, modern, sharp aesthetic where everything sort of has its purpose, but everything also has its beauty and its appeal to it. Coming in right here, again, a lot of the glass from the original space is retained just to create an open collaborative environment where everyone can see everyone and really at the same time, it just allows a lot of light to flow through the space. I really like working in light. I'm not a fan of working in dark, dusty spaces. I think it just lowers morale and it really takes you off track. Who doesn't want access to sunlight? We have, again, our 3% sun blinders there when we need them in the original space or when we first moved into the space. We didn't have the sun blinders up on the walls and honestly, it's night and day when it comes to the difference and the productivity you get out of adding these sun blinders. They really allow you to benefit from the sunlight, but at the same time, put away glare and a lot of the heat, the excess heat that you get. But bringing you guys in, these wood frames frame our bathrooms, they frame our kitchen. We'll cut to some rerolls of the kitchen and the bathrooms for you guys to see, but just having the extra capacity really allows us to get a lot of more use out of our office. Bring you guys in here on my right side, I have office A and on again, I have office B. We split our teams up into core task groups. Of course, everyone works with everyone collaboratively, but part of having different task groups allows people to come together and to produce the different assets needed for a project. Every single project we work with at Fit Design is a collaborative project. Typically, no one person is carrying a project from A to Z with no help. This idea of collaboration, people coming together to create, really allows us to mix and match the talents of different people to create truly exceptional things, which is been at the core heart of everything we've done at Fit Design since day one. We're an extremely holistic company. We're a company where we are the sum of the parts that we put together day in, day out to create, and this is the manifestation of that. Coming on in here, this is our sort of core office. It's a corner office, gets a lot of beautiful sunlight. Without any of these sunlights, it's pretty much a pain in the ass to work in, but like I mentioned, we have them in and I think it really allows us to get a lot of bandwidth and use out of the space. Come on in right here. We have our L-shaped desk, seats up to five to six people, depending on the capacity or I think with five people, it's as comfortable as it can get and I don't think we need to go more than that. One of the things that we wanted to emphasize or stress in the new space was a lot of room to hang and store clothing. We're a company that deals in designing and developing products, so we get a lot of samples in on a day-to-day -day basis. Being able to access those samples on a need basis without having to go through the archives is key. So we have a lot of our hangers up on the wall, anything that we need on a day-to-day -day basis, we have up here, but unfortunately it's never enough. This is uh, one of the challenges, but you know we look at it as a blessing in disguise. Coming into the last room in the office, which is our updated conference room. So I'll bring you in and you might want to change the exposure. Three seconds later, bring you guys into our conference room. Immediately you can tell that this, the idea here was to create a conference room worthy of the company that we want to create. I've always been someone that looks at something five to 10 years in advance, really. Whether it's treating your company as something that it's currently not, at a level that it's not, trying to put yourself in the mindset of where you could be in the next five to 10 years, this is a representation of that, to create a corporate identity for the brand, to create a look and feel to the holding company, which is Create Tech, that can be excelled beyond what Fit Design is today. I always mention this to our employees, I mention this to a team, I mention this to our clients. The company we are today is not the company we're gonna to be tomorrow, the company we're gonna to be tomorrow is not going to be the company we're gonna be in 10 years. We are always moving forward, whether it's with the content we create for you guys at Fitness on TV, on the podcast, or the client work that we do, or the types of services that we offer. We're hungry for more, we're hungry to keep pushing forward, and we can't wait for you guys to see what we can do. This is our conference room. Currently it's seat six, in the original plans we had eight, but it was a little bit too tight. We also wanted to create a conference room that felt light, but at the same time had a lot of structure to it. If you look on my left side, we have our Createc wall, and this is a beautiful wall. I would consider it probably the key attractor of the space. And 
This is just all about creating that image, that corporate identity, giving value to the space. We've also added carpet here. It was a bit more expensive than the traditional porcelain we have in the rest of the space, but well, well worth it. The carpet added a sense of homeliness or a sense of warmth to the space that you really don't get with the porcelain. And at the same time, it immediately registers in your mind that there's something different about this room. We want clients, we want team members, we want new employees to walk into the space and to know who we are and what we could be. Guys, there's really not that much left to say, but I'm so absolutely thankful for your support for the last three years. Without this and without that support, none of anything you see today or yesterday could have happened. Guys, we're so thankful for everything and I really want to thank pretty much our clients, our team members, you guys, and anyone who's ever supported the brand since day one. And we can't tell you, or we can't wait to tell you guys that the best from us is yet to come. So without that, Jihan, 